we got to run these Jones off. <laughs> this is uh, three cards this week. Mm -hmm. Savannah Marshall, Carissa Shields. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Savannah Marshall is deadly. Um, I'm saying deadly because she, she, her body is incredible. Her height, her range is incredible. Um, but on the other end, we dealing with the quote. Carissa Shields, fast hands, intensity level is through the roof. I think Clarissa Shields is just too much when it comes to intensity. I think Savannah Marshall, in order for her to have you where she wants you, she got to be comfortable, first of all. Second of all, you got to be a fool for that jab. If you're not a fool for that jab, then she's going to have trouble. And I think Clarissa Shields going to be slipping inside, turning that left uppercut, followed by that right hand, beating that body up, putting them combinations together. She's just going to be too much for it. Plus, you got to remember, because Savannah Marshall beat Clarissa Shields in the amateurs, Carissa Shield has that chip on her shoulder. With that chip, she gonna bring everything she got. Every gun she got, she bring it. So it's gonna be a great fight. I love this fight, man. I love this fight. Savannah Marshall is dangerous, and you gotta be careful. But at the same time, you gotta take a risk with her because she is so tall. And she got a smooth rhythm to her. Even though she big like that, she, she got a smooth rhythm to her that can rock you to sleep. But I don't think Clarissa going for it. You see uh, a lot of fans and pundits often use the amateurs. Okay, if they fought in the amateurs, yeah. then that means yeah. you know this person has the edge in the professionals. Yeah. Is there a, a, that much of a difference between an amateur bout and a professional bout? It's a big difference, a real big difference, because you're talking about two different clocks, first of all. You're talking about two different time frames. We, in the amateurs, we only got three rounds. On the championship level of female boxing, is 10 rounds. So we're going to be in here for a while. We're going to be getting it in. So... The amateurs, you kind of really got to wash it away, if you understand. you There's been plenty of guys who haven't been Olympians, who haven't won national titles, but they became world champion because the, the game changes. It's now a puncher's game. And I don't mean you have to be a puncher to win, but what I'm saying is when you hit somebody, you got to make it mean something. And the amateurs, all you got to do is touch them. All you got to do is touch them. So that's why in the amateurs, you see a lot of scratching. But in the pros, it's a lot of punching. You know what I mean? So that's the big difference. But at the end of the day, Clarissa Shields, her, her engine... It's too big, her motor is running too high. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's in great shape. Or every time out, she's in great shape. And we seen her in there with great tests. Savannah Marshall, we haven't seen the same kind of tests. We seen fighters in there with her that was tough, but she did what she was supposed to do, just beat them up. You know what I'm saying? We seen Clarissa Shields overcome being knocked down. You know what I mean? Been in there with some wild styles and get it in. Was her first fight or her second fight against Franchise and Cruz? I think her second. And Franchise Cruz is the undisputed <laughs> champion Franchise of the world. Cruz is a fucking gangster. You understand? Mm -hmm. So to have Franchise Cruz on your record and then beat her, come on, man. We talking about the quote. I'm going to say it again. All right, it's a lot of people not going to like it, but Carissa Shields is that. And she's been that for a long time. And they like to disrespect Clarissa sometimes. But listen, two gold medals, even if it is females, that ain't easy. The fuck is you talking about? That's not easy. You got to beat a lot of people to, to make that happen. And then to become champion in multiple weight classes, y'all got to get this lady a movie deal. Y'all got to give her some more, you know what I mean, uh, sponsorships and all that. Stop playing with my sis like that. They disrespecting her. She the baddest female in the world. What do you think the reason for the disrespect is? I mean, first of all, because she a black woman. Second of all, because she don't, she's not a girly girl. She's becoming that, but she's not that all the time. She's a dog, and she knows she a dog. And she's even, to show that she's a dog, she even ventured out in the MMA a little bit. Let me get some of this wreck over here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, she just got it naturally. And you know what I mean? That's what it is. They, they want these girls to be girly girls all the time, but that's not how this shit go. You know what I mean? They dogs at the end of the day, so dogs do what dogs do. Does Carissa stop Savannah? I don't think she'll stop her, but I got it eight rounds to two. Clean, clean boxing lesson, wow. clean. Clean beat you up. You know what Hello. I mean? Just wear you out. Hello. Does, does the fight yeah. being in the UK, because Carissa says that she got robbed in the amateur fight. Does yeah. the fight being in the UK give Savannah an advantage? It gives her an advantage because they want to see her win. But at the end of the day, the truth will, you know, overcome everything. We we'll see what happens.